One of my wonderful subscribers, Arminda Hart, yesterday requested more planting, growing, and harvesting videos. And what is more essential to an urban garden show than that? So even though I've covered peas in a few videos, I want to do it again because I was recommended to these peas from another subscriber uh, a few months ago and I couldn't find them online to order in the US. So I had my friend Marie pick them up, order them before I got to England and she gave them to me. So these are King's Seeds and it says the most mildew resistant pea available. That's the first line on this package. So <laughs> I am really excited to see how they do. When you garden year round in a small garden, raised beds are used continuously. It's not as bad, but we still have it. We pulled the last of the tomatoes out of the back 40 raised bed in early September. I let the bed rest for two weeks. Using the back to Eden method, we pulled the wood chips back to make two furrows. I sprinkled in azomite minerals mixed with compost and Eric worked it in. I thought the tomatoes probably used up all the nutrients and I should reboot the bed. Then I inoculated the seeds with mycogrow. Mycorrhizae are symbiotic relationships that form between fungi and plants. The fungi colonize the root system of a host plant, providing increased water and nutrient absorption capabilities, while the plant provides the fungus with carbohydrates formed from photosynthesis another step I take to ensure healthy plants. I dropped in the seeds one to two inches apart. I wasn't too careful with this. We turned up a few grubs in the process. Then Eric watered them in. Okay. And covered them with an inch of fresh plant mix. How are we going to keep the raccoons out of there? They'll probably show up tonight. Dig it up. Concerned about raccoons digging around the seeds, I laid down some netting in the furrows. I removed the netting as soon as they sprouted, and that's when the raccoons showed up. Now, I have already planted the seeds here, but I had some raccoon activity about three days after I put in the seeds, and so I'm just going to put a few seeds in a few empty spaces. We'll follow this along its course, and we'll see how things turn out. <laughs> And this is for you, Arminda. Just pulled out some late season beets and greens. Beautiful. They were growing in the shade, otherwise they would have been burned up in the sun this summer. <laughs> okay. 
As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Give me a thumbs up and please share with your friends. It will mean a lot to me. Thanks a lot. Thank mm -hmm. you.